Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this story. I'm going to try and upload a new story each day. The Netherworld Nuptials at the Neolithic Longstone Holly had always dreamed of the perfect wedding, envisioning a picturesque ceremony on the stunning Isle of Wight, surrounded by loved ones and the serene beauty of nature. She and her fiancé, Jack, had spent months meticulously planning every detail from the flower arrangements to the catering menu. Little did they know that their idyllic wedding would soon descend into a nightmare beyond their darkest imaginings. As they scoured the Isle of Wight for the perfect venue, Holly stumbled upon a secluded clearing nestled deep within the island's ancient forests. There, amidst the whispering trees and the eerie mist that hung in the air, stood the Neolithic lawnstone, a towering monolith shrouded in mystery and legend. Entranced by its otherworldly presence, Holly felt an inexplicable pull towards the ancient site. Ignoring the warnings of the locals, who spoke of the Longstone's sinister reputation and its ties to the supernatural, Holly and Jack decided that this would be the perfect location for their wedding. Little did they know that their decision would awaken forces beyond their comprehension. In their search for decorations, Holly stumbled upon an ancient tome hidden away in the attic of a local antique shop. Its weathered pages were filled with cryptic symbols and arcane rituals detailing nuptial ceremonies that promised to unite the living with the dead. Ignoring the ominous warnings written within its pages, Holly was mesmerized by the prospect of incorporating these ancient customs into the wedding ceremony. As the day of the wedding approached, strange occurrences began to plague the couple. Unexplained whispers echoed through the halls of their rented cottage, and eerie shadows danced in the corners of their vision. Jack dismissed these incidents as mere jitters, but Holly couldn't shake the feeling that they were being watched by unseen eyes. On the eve of the wedding, as Holly and Jack rehearsed their vows beneath the shadow of the Neolithic limestone, they were startled by the sudden appearance of a spectral figure cloaked in mist. Its eyes glowed with an otherworldly light as it beckoned to them, its voice a haunting whisper on the wind. Terrified but undeterred, Holly and Jack pressed on with their plans, believing that their love would protect them from whatever malevolent forces lurked in the shadows. But as the ceremony began and the ancient rituals were performed, the barrier between the living and the dead began to blur. Spectral apparitions emerged from the darkness, their ghastly forms twisting and contorting as they joined the celebration. The air grew thick with the scent of decay, and the once tranquil forest echoed with the screams of the damned. Holly watched in horror as the guests were dragged into the swelling maelstrom of the supernatural, their faces contorted with terror as they were consumed by the darkness. Desperate to escape the nightmare unfolding around her, Holly reached out to Jack, only to find him transformed into a ghastly spectre, his eyes empty sockets devoid of life. With nowhere left to run, Holly found herself ensnared in the embrace of the ancient forces that had been awakened by her folly. As the last vestiges of her sanity slipped away, she realized the true nature of the Neolithic Longstone, a gateway to the netherworld, where the living and the dead were forever bound in unholy matrimony. And so, amidst the twisted ruins of the once perfect wedding, Holly joined the ranks of the lost souls condemned to wander the Isle of Wight for all eternity, a warning to those who dared to tread where mortals were never meant to go. In the endless twilight of the netherworld, Holly wandered aimlessly, her mind trapped in a nightmarish haze. Time lost its meaning in that realm of eternal torment, where every moment felt like an eternity of suffering. Haunted by the memories of her lost love and the horrific fate that had befallen them both, Holly searched desperately for a way to escape the clutches of the darkness that threatened to consume her soul. But the netherworld was an unforgiving realm, its labyrinthine passages twisting and turning without end, trapping her in an endless cycle of despair. As she wandered deeper into the heart of the netherworld, Holly encountered other lost souls twisted shades of their former selves, tormented by the sins of their past lives. Some whispered tales of forbidden knowledge hidden within the dark corners of the realm, while others spoke of a legendary artifact said to hold the power to break the chains that bound them to this cursed place. Driven by desperation and a flicker of hope, Holly embarked on a perilous quest to uncover the truth behind the ancient mysteries that shrouded the netherworld. Guided by fragments of forgotten lore and the whispered voices of the damned, she journeyed deeper into the darkness, her resolve unyielding despite the ever-present threat of annihilation. Along the way, Holly encountered unspeakable horrors, fisted abominations spawned from the darkest recesses of the netherworld's depths. 
Yet she pressed on, fueled by the faint glimmer of hope that burned within her heart. Finally, after what felt like an eternity of endless suffering, Holly stumbled upon the legendary artifact a relic of untold power hidden away in the heart of the netherworld's darkest depths. With trembling hands, she grasped the artifact tightly, feeling its ancient energies course through her veins like liquid fire. With a surge of newfound strength, Holly unleashed the power of the artifact, shattering the chains that bound her to the netherworld and banishing the darkness that had ensnared her soul. As she emerged from the depths of the netherworld, bathed in the light of dawn, Holly felt a sense of liberation wash over her a newfound sense of purpose born from the ashes of her despair. But as she looked out upon the world she had once called home, Holly knew that her journey was far from over. For though she had escaped the clutches of the netherworld, the horrors she had witnessed would haunt her dreams for the rest of her days, a grim reminder of the price of meddling with forces beyond mortal comprehension. And so, with a heavy heart and a newfound determination, Holly set out to uncover the secrets of the ancient tome that had led her down this dark path a quest for redemption in a world plagued by shadows and whispers of the netherworld's eternal embrace. With the weight of her harrowing ordeal still heavy upon her shoulders, Holly returned to the Isle of Wight, determined to uncover the truth behind the ancient tome that had led her and Jack into the clutches of the netherworld. Armed with newfound knowledge and a steely resolve, she delved deep into the island's hidden secrets, determined to unravel the mysteries that had plagued her since that fateful day. Her quest led her to forgotten ruins and ancient burial sites, where she unearthed fragments of forgotten lore and whispered tales of dark rituals performed in ages long past. With each discovery, Holly pieced together the puzzle of the ancient tome, tracing its origins back to a time when the boundaries between the mortal realm and the netherworld were thin and porous. But as she delved deeper into the island's dark history, Holly soon realized that she was not alone in her pursuit of forbidden knowledge. Shadowy figures lurked in the corners of her vision, their malevolent presence a constant reminder of the dangers that lay ahead. Undeterred by the threats that loomed around her, Holly pressed on, driven by a burning desire to uncover the truth and put an end to the dark forces that threatened to consume her world. With each step she took, she drew closer to the heart of the mystery, unraveling the threads of an ancient conspiracy that spanned centuries. Finally, after months of tireless searching, Holly uncovered the final piece of the puzzle, a hidden chamber buried deep beneath the Neolithic longstone where the darkest secrets of the ancient tome lay waiting to be revealed. With trembling hands, she entered the chamber, her heart pounding with anticipation and fear. What she found within the chamber defied all comprehension, a vast library of forbidden knowledge, its shelves lined with dusty tomes and crumbling scrolls, each one containing secrets too terrible to be spoken aloud. Among them, she found the original manuscript of the ancient tome, its pages filled with cryptic symbols and arcane rituals that spoke of a pact forged between mortals and the denizens of the netherworld. As Holly poured over the pages of the manuscript, she felt a chill run down her spine, a sense of unease that told her she was not alone. Glancing up, she saw the shadowy figures that had been stalking her throughout her journey, their eyes burning with malevolent intent. With a sinking heart, Holly realized that she had stumbled upon something far more dangerous than she had ever imagined a conspiracy that reached beyond the confines of the mortal realm, threatening to plunge the world into darkness once more. But even as fear threatened to consume her, Holly knew that she could not turn back, not now, not when so much was at stake. With a steely resolve born of desperation and determination, she vowed to uncover the truth and put an end to the dark forces that threatened to consume her world no matter the cost. And so, armed with the knowledge she had gleaned from the ancient tome and the strength of her own indomitable spirit, Holly embarked on a new quest to quest to confront the darkness that lurked within the shadows and banish it from the world forever. With her resolve hardened and her determination unwavering, Holly embarked on her quest to confront the darkness that threatened to engulf the Isle of Wight. Armed with the ancient tome and the knowledge she had gleaned from its pages, she sought out allies among the few who still dared to oppose the encroaching shadows. Together with her newfound companions, Holly delved deeper into the island's dark secrets, uncovering hidden truths and ancient prophecies that spoke of a time when the forces of light and darkness would clash in a final, cataclysmic battle for the fate of the world. As they journeyed across the Isle of Wight, they encountered twisted abominations and malevolent spirits, each one a testament to the growing power of the darkness that threatened to consume everything in its path. 
but with each victory they won, Holly felt a glimmer of hope still within her belief that no matter how dire the odds, they could still prevail against the darkness that sought to devour them. Their quest led them to the heart of the island, where the Neolithic Longstone stood as a grim reminder of the ancient pact that had unleashed the forces of the netherworld upon the world of mortals. There, amidst the swirling mists and the whispers of the dead, Holly and her companions prepared for the final confrontation, a battle that would determine the fate of the world itself. As the forces of darkness gathered their strength and prepared to unleash their full fury upon the world, Holly stood resolute, her eyes ablaze with determination and defiance. With a rallying cry that echoed across the island, she led her companions into battle, their weapons gleaming in the dim light of the setting sun. The battle that ensued was unlike anything the world had ever seen, a clash of swords and sorcery, of light and darkness, that shook the very foundations of reality. Shadows writhed and twisted as the forces of light and darkness collided, each blow struck echoing with the weight of destiny. In the midst of the chaos, Holly found herself face to face with the source of the darkness, a malevolent entity of unimaginable power, its form shifting and twisting with every passing moment. With a defiant roar, she charged forward, her sword raised high, ready to strike the final blow that would end the darkness once and for all. As their blades clashed in a shower of sparks, Holly felt a surge of power course through her veins, a power born of the ancient pact that had bound the world to the netherworld for centuries. With a mighty blow, she struck the final blow, shattering the darkness and banishing the malevolent entity back into the depths of the netherworld from whence it came. As the dust settled and the echoes of battle faded into silence, Holly and her companions stood victorious, their faces weary but triumphant. With the darkness vanquished and the world saved from destruction, they knew that their journey was far from over but for now, at least, they could rest easy, knowing that they had stood against the darkness and emerged victorious. And so, as the sun dipped below the horizon and the stars shone down upon the Isle of Wight once more, Holly and her companions gathered around the Neolithic Longstone, their hearts filled with hope for a brighter future, a future free from the shadows that had threatened to consume them all. Thank you for listening, I hope you enjoyed this story. Please don't forget to like and even better like and subscribe. Thank you very much and I hope you have had or have a great day.